Google Sheets has a new feature that lets you add smart chips to financials like stocks. You could use the smart chip in combination with the Google Finance spreadsheet functions to learn even more information about that financial. Here's how to add that. I'm going to type the at sign and then I'm going to start typing the name of the financial I want to look for. So for example, Apple. And when I scroll down here, I want to go all the way to the bottom to the finance section and either click from options there or I can click on the arrow to open out more finance options. And when I see the option I want, I can click on it and it turns that into a smart chip. I can click on this to pull open more information about that. I can click on the view details to open up in a new window more information about this one. I can also click on the disclaimer information just to learn more about delays and things like that. You can use these in combination with the Google Finance function in Google Spreadsheets. So I'm going to add the Google Finance function and the first thing I'll do is the ticker. I can point directly to the cell I have that ticker in. And then I'm going to open out the information about this. The next thing I can add is an attribute. I'm going to scroll down and click on learn more and in the right hand side it's going to tell me more about the kinds of attributes I can do. I can have things like the price quote, when it opened, the high, the low, things like that. So I'm going to put in a uh, high so I get the high number and then I can specify a start date for that. So maybe I want to say January 1st, 2023 and then I can say the end date and I will say an end date of today and when I hit enter I will get all the information I just requested. So the high for every day the markets were open from January to today. Another way you can add these is to the insert menu. So I'm going to go up to insert, smart chips, and I'm going to choose finance from here. And this is going to allow me to directly type in something that I want to search for specifically from finance. So if I type Apple there, I could type in Google, whatever you, you type in there, this search will go directly to finance options.